for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be doing an eye and lip look and here it is. So please keep watching to see how to do this look and also please subscribe to my channel. Check out these amazing Huda Beauty lashes and they are in Scarlet number 8. Scarlet O'Hara does happen to be one of my major heroines from Gone with the Wind. And I just think these lashes are so beautiful. So for this look, I'm going to be doing the eye look and the lip look. So I have already applied um, this eye makeup. And then next we will be working on this eye. And to start, I'm going to be using Elizabeth Mott's eyeshadow primer and applying that all over the eyelid. And for this look today, I'm using Urban Decay's Vice 3 palette. To start, I'm going to apply Truth all over to set the eyeshadow primer. And next, using the longer brush that comes with the palette, I'm going to use the color Downfall and apply that above the crease. And next I'm going to use the Luxie Small Blending Brush to go in with the color Heroin in the crease. And start with just a little bit of that blue heroin color. It's a really pretty kind of navy royal blue and a little bit goes a long ways. And then I'm going to go back with a little bit more truth um, just on the eyelid using the smaller brush that comes with the palette. And I'm also going to use a little bit of Bobbi Dazzle underneath the eyebrow and in the inner corner. And you have to apply at least probably three layers to get a good amount of color in that inner corner. I'm using the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner in Raven. Do a thin black line on top of the eyelid, making sure to also get in between the eyelashes with a little bit of tight lining. It's so funny because these lashes are amazing, but they're so thick, it's almost hard to see out to do the other eye, which is crazy. I'm applying IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in neutral medium under the eye and just using a little bit of MAC powder to set that a little bit. I'm using Downfall underneath the eye which is that same color that we used on the upper crease. Using a Sigma Smudge E21 brush apply the blue color that heroin underneath the eye and I also blended it up and used a little bit in that upper corner and if you have excess powder you can just kind of blend that away and apply a little more bobby dazzle back in that inner corner I'm using Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Coal Liner in Nude to apply liner to the waterline. And apply Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara in Extreme Black to the top and bottom lashes, focusing more on the bottom lashes. And now it is time to apply the Fabulous Lash. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm using Duo's Dark Tone Adhesive to apply these lashes. Definitely wait long enough for that glue to get very tacky before you try to apply it because the lashes are absolutely gorgeous but they are substantial. I did have to put this on, take it off, put it on again um, because it was kind of tricky to get on that first lash. So definitely wait until it gets really tacky to apply. So that's what I'm doing now, just waiting for my lash glue. I love them so much though. They are, they were expensive. I don't remember exactly how much. Got them when I was in Vegas. I don't even know if they sell these here. But absolutely, I just love these lashes. Like, I just feel fabulous. And they're more comfortable than the 
for example, the Ardell Double, La Double Up Lash. It's still a substantial big lash like that, but they're definitely more comfortable than those. So it looks like my glue got nice and tacky. So what I would say, the lashes are amazing. Definitely have a little bit of patience. I was able to get this lash on the first time, but it did take a little maneuvering to get one half on and then to get the inner half on was harder. So a little bit tricky, completely worth it. I think these lashes are amazing. They look great, super eye-opening and big. If you wanna do something fun and dramatic, highly recommend them. Obsessed. But tricky to get on. So I went ahead and applied the rest of my face makeup so now we can finish with our lips look. I'm going to be doing a red lip so to start I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 lip pencil in ozone which is a clear pencil so that is going to keep any red from feathering on your lips. So with that clear pencil, you want to do it really on kind of the line between your lips and outside your lips. Next, I'm going to be using NARS, which is in the color Cruella. It's a velvet matte lip pencil, and I'm going to be focusing this on the outside of the lips. Actually, I might even sharpen this. It'll be a little easier to do. And my lip pencil sharpener just tried to start breaking, which is sad. Be a little easier with a little bit more um, sharpened pencil. Red can be a little bit tricky. So one thing I should have done that I did not do would have been great to like moisturize my lips this morning. Live and learn. And I'm really still bummed that it's this light and it makes like a mechanical noise and I don't know. These lights were really expensive and maybe I should email them. I don't know if there's something I can do about it and they were crazy expensive. Next, I'm using MAC and it's a matte Victoriana and this is a matte red and I'm going to use that all over. Well, not really all over, focusing more on the center. And blending it towards the edges also. And this is applying very nicely even over my dry lips. And finally, the last color is Wet n Wild Red Velvet. And I'm just going to focus this in the center of the lips because it's a little bit of a lighter red. I don't know if you can see these earrings, but they're super fun. Ta-da! Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have an amazing week. I hope that you do something outside your comfort zone. Someone said that to me yesterday and it totally hit home that you should be doing things that challenge you all the time. And I am not always good at that. And it made me feel better when I was trying to get those lashes on. I was like, this is totally challenging me. So it's something I should be doing. So let's all try to do that this week and have a great week. Stay awesome. Also, I did kind of try to do this look that would look good with this new dress I got. And it's called Lou La Ro, I think. Lou La Ro. Anyway, I got it at a friend's party and it's like super flare and stretchy and fun and I'll do a blog post about it on my blog, melissamchi.com, that you can go check out. I'm just obsessed with these lashes. They're so pretty. I feel like lately I've just been doing these normal kind of lashes, and this is more my kind of lash. 
giant, huge. Looking at my mirror behind there, like you can see them from a distance. That is the kind of lash I really like. So fun. Love them. Huda booty. Huda booty. Huda. <laughs> Huda. Oh, you don't need to look. Huda booty shot. Yeah, they were so worth it. I can't remember how much they were, but I'm sure they were less than $20 and uh, so worth it. I just love them and hopefully they will last a long time and I can use them over and over again. These are Huda, 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 I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Oops. 